In 2009, the Institute of Science and Technology Austria was founded with one vision in mind, to become a world-class scientific research institute. Ten years later, the institute was ranked third in the worldwide normalized nature index, demonstrating the advances IST Austria has made and the quality of research conducted on campus. Outstanding research requires outstanding scientists. One of these is Professor Maria Ibanez, who leads a research group in the field of thermoelectric materials. Once we find the proper material, we can build a thermoelectric device. And a thermoelectric device can be used for, as energy harvester or it can be used uh, as a Peltier cooler. So that means with the same device we can produce energy by having temperature difference or by using wasted heat or we can use that device to control very precisely temperatures. These materials are not cost effective nowadays. So the research we are working is to try to make them more efficient and more cheap so we can integrate these technologies in a normal life. Building collaborations between scientific disciplines on campus plays a central role in achieving top quality research. In their work, Professor Scott Vitukaitis and his group demonstrate the enormous innovative potential of interdisciplinary work. In our lab, we study the fundamental mechanical, electrical, and rheological properties of materials. Um, and this is useful not only to understand the materials in the world around us at the fundamental level, but also because understanding these properties of materials, we can make new technologies with them. In one of our projects, we're trying to understand why when we touch two insulating materials together, they exchange electrical charge. And one of the most exciting applications for this effect is in triboelectric generators, which use it to harvest energy. Not only will new ways of energy production play a key role in the future, the storage of electricity will also become extremely important. Professor Stefan Freundberger may help us find the answers. He is an expert in the fields of materials electrochemistry. So we are combining material science with flowing electrons. Directly the applications are making better batteries or supercapacitors, so better in the sense of storing more energy per volume or mass or making them cheaper, making them easier to manufacture with uh, more available elements and better to recycle. The wide field of life science also holds the potential for many future practical applications of research findings. Professor Sandra Siegert is a leading scientist in the field of neuroimmunology. We are interested in uh, looking how immune cells m influence brain function and um, interfere, for example, with our um, mind setting and learning and memory. Our research has shown that we could replace current drug treatment potentially with a um, light therapy strategy. Another research group whose work could bring revolutionary changes to the healthcare sector is led by Professor Matthew Robinson. We combine uh, large-scale uh, uh, DNA data uh, with hospital uh, uh, medical records um, and uh, hospital inpatient data and we combine this uh, uh, with statistical models that we develop uh, to get a better understanding of the genetic and environmental risk factors uh, that shape why we get sick and the time at which we get sick later in our lives. We take the results that we have and we can use those to create predictors and we can create uh, predictors of um, what your risk will be in future, so that when you walk into an inpatient clinic, uh, we can predict what your outcome would be in the future. These excellent researchers are laying the groundwork for the technological innovations of tomorrow, ever pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Of course, you always have this ideal thought that maybe one day you can bring a new material that can have very interesting properties that in this case can help harvesting energy in a more environmentally friendly manner. I'm fascinated by uh, things in everyday life that seem simple but are actually complex. And especially if these things can be made to do something useful, then I get really excited.